Skywalker did not always know what he was going to do, like when he lost his job during the recession back in 2008. But one thing was certain, he always knew he wanted to live here in Encinitas. After I graduated college in Oregon uh, in 2001, I'm like, I'm moving there and I'm going to surf and live my surf town dream and that's what I've been doing. Who can blame him? There's a lot to love about it here. It's a very spiritual place along the coast. If you've ever been here, you kind of feel those vibrations and that mixed with the ocean, the, the landscape, the environment, it's just, it's, it's hard to put into words unless you've been here and live here, just how it makes you feel. And I always felt connected to Encinitas ever since I was a kid. Walker found his passion after the recession, making murals. So when Darshan Bakery on 2nd Street reached out about painting a mural inside this summer, yep. Walker painted this, a nod to that surf town dream. It's definitely an ode to Encinitas, kind of like a visual love letter of my appreciation for this town. My work revolves around nature and mother nature and how we interact with our environment, and this mural kind of embodies that. It's uh, very focused on what I want to paint, which is natural elements. It was, you know, it was freehanding my own vision for Mother Nature and pelicans and textures and whatnot and colors. It turns out this heart for art started with his dad. He did murals and sign painting when I was a kid, and it was kind of sporadic, it wasn't all the time. But when I got to high school, he did a few projects I helped him with, and then through that I learned how, and after that I kind of just took it upon myself to do it. So if you find yourself on 2nd Street, following that sweet smell of baked goods. This all radiates off the sun, so the, the swirl of the, the wave is connecting to her hair. And you can peek through the window and admire the artwork that captures the essence of Encinitas, home. The beauty about mural work is it puts art in a public forum in a different way. Allison Royal, News 8.